Thank you so much for joining me. All right. So in this video, I am going to give you an update on the Guinea accident that claimed four lives. Yes. Now, one of the victims, who is Limumba Karim Kalazi, has been laid to rest. Yes. As you know that uh, Karim was one of those that were bent beyond recognition, and so they were waiting for DNA results to come out. Yes. Now that the DNA results are out, his body was taken from Zimbabwe to Malawi where he was uh, laid to rest now I'm also going to share with you a very touching speech that was given by his daughter Amanda and the speech was read on her behalf by her auntie now following Karim's death because you know he was living in South Africa as a fugitive running away from law enforcement agents in Malawi he, he, they, they celebrated his life in South Africa yes all his friends together in South Africa to celebrate his his life years now let's listen to this powerful speech from his daughter Amanda it was observed this is something that Amanda had written for her dad and I'll read it as she wrote it all protocols observed this is something that Amanda wrote for her dad and I will read it as she wrote it hello everyone I am Amanda Karim, Limumba Karim's daughter. I will be telling you about my dad. My dad was a good businessman and the best father a girl could ever ask for. Although we were not that close, I knew that he loved me. He would travel a lot, but still tried his best to spend time with me. We had just started getting closer Then November the 8th happened. I loved my dad and I still do. My dad would buy me stuff when I wanted. He made me happy when I was sad. Just because he is gone, it does not mean I will give up on my dreams. What I do in my future is for my dad. He wanted me and mommy to be happy, so I will go to school and make him proud. The last thing he sent to me was a picture of him in the Rolls Royce, the same car that he died in. All I want is for him to sleep peacefully and not angry. I love my dad and I always will. There was a lot that I liked about my dad. He was a very good friend, but not everyone believed it. He was funny, loving and caring. One time at home, my mom gave him food and he said, I will only eat the meat off this plate because I am allergic to vegetables. But even I knew that he was doing anything to eat meat only. Thank you for listening, and may my father's soul rest in the arms of the Lord. She has put a verse dedicated to him from Thessalonians 5 verse 23. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and thank you. One thing that I want to show you about Limumba from Amanda. I just want her to show her shoes. <laughs> no, do like this. Yes, that's Karim Kazao. Thank you. You know, like dad, like daughter. Thank you very much, Amanda, for such a very moving speech. We are proud of you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. We shall proceed with the eulogies. It was a really touching note from Amanda dedicated to her father. Yes, you know, no child deserves you know, to, to grow up without a father, but sometimes things happen and we have no control over them, right? Now, the other two uh, victims who were banned beyond recognition, I am talking with Moana and Alikia. Well, uh, as for Alikia, no uh, details uh, out yet as for the burial. 
and as also you know the DNA results are out as well for her so we are waiting on that and also for Moana of course we know that there is some family feud that is going you on you know, on the bearer arrangement and who has the right to bear the child the father or the mother and so we are seeing this, this case is going to the court so we are also waiting for the court results to know what is going to happen in the future so this is the other direction for you my friends and if you are new why not share, like, uh, subscribe, push the notification bell so that you don't forget to meet and update that I do this for you. My name is Victoria.